welcome in this new vlog so i wanted to share a bit some updates of what i'm doing in the kingdom all that i know i've not been much around these past weeks it has been an extremely challenging fall uh, for me probably one of the most challenging fall i ever experienced so i was really focused and concentrated on totally different things than my baba opera my projects my things all that so i was not much around i was traveling i'm traveling again i don't know yet how exactly uh, december is going to unfold i will probably have uh, other trips to do all that so i don't know i will do my best to try to be a little more present uh, there is uh, right now i need an emergency to finish the opera bag baba opera to ship it I'm moving tomorrow, I'm traveling again. Then afterwards things I think are going to be a little more settled so I will show you my Christmas decor which I didn't start yet at all um, and other projects I plan to do for the December season. Depending how things go uh, I, I will see that but I plan to do a lot of things. So I'm not sharing all the private details of all that because it's not really something I want to share online but yes there are just very good reasons not to be around. So now I'm completing the last details on the barrel copper. I will show you a bit all that. So it was the second scene I had to do for the exhibition. The museum where it's going to take place, it's taking place, the exhibition is already all settled. Uh, I, I, they are only missing my piece, which uh, I need to ship on Monday. Um, but it's already settled and it, the museum is reopening on December 15, if things go well in the world. And we will see. Honestly, I think it's just hard to predict what's going to happen in the next month or that. The, the government, as in other countries, they try to have a calendar, but it can change at any time. Uh, so right now the museum are supposed to reopen on December 15 if things go well. So if you are not very far from, from there and in the next month, you will have the possibility maybe to see the exhibition. It's located in Bayeul in a museum called Le Musée Benoît de Puy and it's just close to the Belgian border and it's very close to Lille, the city, um, big city in the north of France. So if you want to go next winter, spring, summer, you will have the possibilities to see it. I will go myself uh, with my camera. I don't know exactly when, but I will go and I will show you everything of the exhibition, how it's organized and all that. So I'm pretty excited to see what the others have done, the other creators and artists who have done things. So I will show you that too. Uh, yes, so I will show you my last things I've done here and the decor is finished. I just have final things to do on the characters and the sirens. That's it. I didn't start my Christmas decor yet. I plan to do it once all these things are a bit more settled, even if it's a bit late. I know, but you know, they're crazy years and you do what you can. So I will still do a bit of decor because I think it's just a great way to comfort yourself when you go through difficult times, to have a nice decor around you. I think it's just something... I found extremely helpful and comforting, so I will still do my Christmas decor. I've seen a bit what the, the city here has organized for Christmas, and um, even if things are pretty limited because of the COVID, they still managed to do pretty nice decor. So I've, I've showed you here a bit how it looks like in the town, downtown here for the December season. And I thought they don't have a crazy budget here to do fancy things, but I think they managed to do something really pretty and nice and festive, which is, uh, really most welcome during this season and i hope it's the case where you live you also have a town or village or a city who care a bit for these sort of things because i think it just makes this season and um, during this difficult time for all of us anyway a bit more festive and, and funny and nice so this year i mentioned that many times there is no new christmas workshop i had planned not to do one and of I will have no way to have done one with the context of this year, but I will have a new Christmas workshop next year in 2021. All the past Christmas workshops are still open. There are some apprentice magicians who have joined and I will uh, start to see a bit what they ha are doing. So I hope if you, are, you have joined this year, you are enjoying what you are doing so far. So all my decor from the Christmas workshop, you will see them in my new decor this year, but I will try to organize things a bit differently just to refresh things a bit. And when you add new pieces of furniture, of decor, decor for your, your, your home, it's quite fun to play with your seasonal decor to see how they fit in this new disposition. So I will see how all these things work and I will show you that. So just to say that if you're interested, all the Christmas workshop will close on December 20 till next Christmas season. So you have still a few weeks to join and you can start your Christmas decor uh, at any moment of the year. The workshop is always open for you. Once you are enrolled, you have um, always forever access to it. So 
there is always a Christmas coming. So even if you can't do everything this year, it's fine. You can still do things a bit later and you have, will have your decor ready for next season. And I've done that many times and it's still quite nice to do it because you will have them ready. Uh, I'm excited even if you didn't use it for this current year, you will be happy to have them for next year, next Christmas season. far I have still few finishes to do so you recognize the uh, seahorse musician I have some che last checking to do on this one there is a chair at the very end of the theater and there is a little character I'm finishing right now so there is a tiny character going inside I've done some decor here so there are two things like that another one on the back there is this other character you have seen her probably already I've showed her already and this one she's not still finished I'm finishing her dress here well there are, I only have the sort of similar thing that the other one had which I'm doing I'm painting the papers for that so it's mainly the middle section of her dress I'm finishing uh, right now otherwise it's she's pretty good her hair is also finished so just the top of the of the dress I'm doing Oh yes, and that's uh, that's it for the for the Baroque opera. So the inspiration, of course, is that in the during all the Baroque era, end of 17th, early 18th century, there was a big passion for anything coming from the sea, the shells, all the because of the shape, of course, and the curves and all that. And in the Rococo era and the Baroque era, in the music, in in everything, there was a big passion for for all these creatures from the sea. And in the Baroque opera specifically, in the French opera, but also a bit Italian and a bit of English opera too, there was a lot of 
sirens and in each opera you listen to it's extremely rare not to have a siren a creature from the sea appearing at some point i think because they are just poetic um, they are back to fashion they were not always seen as a good and nice and positive character but during this time during the baroque era they are back to uh, to a pos more positive aspect than they had been during the medieval era so that's it. She's there. The, the scene is probably going to be lighted in a really nice way in the, in the exhibition. But I think with candlelights it could work really well too. Of course we can't have that in the exhibition, candlelights, but with the gold and all that, I think it could work really well. So right now, yes, I need to finish tiny finishes on the chair and be sure, uh, especially the painting thing, I need to do that when it's totally daylight, just to check that my walls are really nice. Can't do that when the light is changing it's already it's just half past four and i'm filming that and it's already really dark so i need my lights when i want if i want to continue to work on my theater so i showed you in my last vlog i think uh, some nice letters on some nice stamps i received on previous orders i had done in, in different shops on ebay but it's french um, bookshop so i have one coming from germany soon which i didn't receive yet so for, for now i can tell you that pretty much all of them have nice stamps on there from all the one i had on ebay they all had nice stamps and here i even have Camille de Moulin. i'm so happy to have him it's a revolutionary character i really like so i was happy to have those this one is bless sandra so writer so yes it's really nice and we are going to see i'm going to show you what i have inside this one here we have an engraving for my gallery of portraits I'm doing in the living room right now. So you're going to understand why I have this lady. So of course it's Laetitia Bonaparte. I had to have her in my collection. There was no way I wouldn't have her in my portrait collection. It's the reason my name became popular after the Empire in the 19th century. There was no Laetitia in France. For my, what I know, at least, they were in England, this name, um, you could find it in the 17th century, I, I found it in some novels and things like that, but in France, there were not a lot, if there were, there were not a lot, but there were, of course, uh, a lot of little girls who were named like that after Mummy, it's Mummy Bonaparte, it's the mother of Napoleon, of course, and they came from uh, Italy in the 16th century, I think. But of course, they, they were from Corsica, and Corsica was sometimes from French, sometimes Italian, so it's the reason. Uh, and you pronounce it, by the way, in French it's Laetitia, simply, and in Ita Italian I think it's Laetitia. Um, I see sometimes people are confused when they pronounce it, but in French it would be Laetitia, and you have a T here. Uh, he, she, they've done something half French, half Italian in the writing here. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. So I will share with you my Christmas decors in a few days. It's coming, I promise you. I will do it, even if it's not super on time, I will still do it. And I will show you, of course, my other pieces in progress and all the things I plan to do. I have also a super nice project I wanted to work for long time and I decided to start to work on something maybe a little more challenging and more fulfilling too as a video project so you will see that I will come back to you later and I plan to do the first part of this big project at the end of December we will see how things go I'm not going to promise anything but I'm going to start to work on it that's for sure and I will share with you a bit of updates on that it's just something just nice and um, yes yeah, some um, fulfilling and satisfying with a lot of artistic challenges I wanted to do a video which would be a bit special from all the things you see from me so you are going to see that it's going to be a bit my Christmas and love your present for you so that's another project I plan to work on so for now I will leave you here don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like what you saw um, yes I will give you for sure some updates also for the for the um, exhibition and share with you all the nice things it's going to be it's a very pretty exhibition I've seen already a lot of photos they send me many things and I think it's going to be pretty pretty magical so if you are not very far from Belgium, north of France, I think it's going to be really worth seeing. For now, I will leave you here. I wish you a beautiful Christmas season and I will be back soon with my Christmas tour.